Hey guys, Coach Travis, and we are here for the breakdown for week five. So getting into our first day, we've got a progression of the toes to bar that we've been working on already. This time we're going to be doing a 10 minute EMOM. We've upped the reps to eight reps and we've also upped the skill level. So here we're going to be doing either eight toes to bar on a 10 minute EMOM or we're going to be doing four reps of your goal progression. So the next thing you're trying to achieve and four of what you currently can do. So just like we've been doing the last couple of weeks, we're going to be doing now one more rep of the skill that we're working towards and then four of the current skill that we have. An example again would be if you're trying to get uh, toes to bar and you're working on getting those first couple, you'd be doing four attempts of the toes to bar as close as you can or hitting those followed by four straight leg raises. Again, one step forward on that progression I've been working on, trying to add more of what we're working towards and shaving off what we currently have. Getting into day two, this time we have got a four rounds uh, workout of some kettlebell work, and that's going to be an overhead kettlebell walking lunge. So you're gonna have two kettlebells, one in each hand. We're gonna be in that overhead position, fully locked out. We're gonna be taking five steps per leg, and then once we get done with the, the lunges, we're going to be going into a kettlebell RDL, working on tempo, trying to control that, that pace that we go on the, on the eccentric portion, feeling a good stretch in the hamstrings, and then coming back up. This weight should not be heavy, looking for something in that mild to moderate range. The recommendation here, nothing greater than a 35 in each hand. The goal with this is to work on conditioning for the lunges and then a little bit of posterior chain work to supplement that. So we'll be doing four rounds of that work. Going into day three, we've got an eight minute AMRAP of our GHD. So now we've got the GHDs we've been working on over the last four weeks. We'll be doing 10 GHDs and then going into three mat lengths of a handstand walk. So that's going to be 18 feet doing three mats down. If you are in that, still in that period where you're getting a few steps, these AMRAPs are meant to force you to Get up into the handstand, take as many steps as you can. If it's not that many, we're gonna kick back down, try to kick back up quickly and continue along. If you're still not at the point where you have handstand walks yet, you can substitute that for three kickups to a handstand against the wall. Just make sure to get to the wall, get vertical, get stable before you kick back down or six of the pike push-ups, that down dog push-up, and then right back to the GHD. So that's gonna be an eight minute AMRAP working on getting some volume with our GHDs, continuing that progress, but also not losing the handstand work that we've been doing so far. And then getting into our last day, we're working on those pull-ups again. We've got four sets of 20 pull-ups and chin-ups. That's using a band. The goal with that is to just get volume into the arms and lats, get comfortable hanging on to the rig and making sure that we get that blood flow through there so we can get comfortable with those big, big sets. Um, Again, try to make these unbroken, use as much resistance as you need to stay on the rig. The goal with these, again, is to work down on how much resistance you need. But overall, the point is to just get that volume um, as much as we can. So that's the breakdown for this week's workouts, our supplemental workout. Hope you guys had a phenomenal retest with Fran. I know it was rough, but I hope you guys uh, did great. I know in the chat we talked, there was a lot of folks that leveled up. Really proud of you guys. Um, and I'm looking forward to our training this week. Hope you have a great day.